Good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Yes, there we go. All right, so good evening, guys. Uh, great to see you. Great to hear you. Maurice, good evening. Abigail, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining. Hector, how you doing? Mr. Narvaez, good evening. Ezequiel, great to see you as well. How are you guys? How was your weekend? I'm fine. Already, sounds good. <laughs> um, so, Dinore, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. How good are you? Hi. Hi. Thank you for um, joining, guys. I'm sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties still. Um, so, let me know, please, if you cannot hear me or if you listen to some interruption. So, um, but it is really great, guys, uh, to have you one more time. Uh, thank you, Ms. Mendoza. Yes, I know. Hopefully, you get home uh, safely. All right, guys. So it's really nice uh, like to see all of you again. And uh, we're going to get started with part of the activities we have. Guys, how was your weekend? Was it okay? Did you go out? Did you do anything, guys? Did you rest a little? Hector, did you work? Did you rest? Did you have a good time? Dinora, did you? Did you sleep yes. a little bit? Yes, teacher, I have a good time. And did you spend time with your family or did you work? Did you go out? Today I worked. Oh, okay. What about the weekend? Uh, the, my last weekend, I um, relax. <laughs> ah, okay. Do you stay at home? Yes, I stay at home with my baby. <laughs> Ah, all right. Yes. Okay, okay, sounds all right. Guys, what about the rest of you? Did you rest a little bit, lady? Did you sleep? Did you rest, did you rest a little? Okay, Ezekiel, what about you, Ezekiel? Did you work? Did you have to play? Okay, I guess the guys are not ready here. Okay, guys. Well, either way, it's really nice uh, to have you to have you here. We're gonna like get it started. We're gonna work with some activities we have pending, and above all, vamos a intentar trabajar un poquito. So we're gonna work. Um, a little bit with some vocabulary that we have still pending conditional zero and things like those. Oh, okay. So um, guys, to get started today, to get started the night, so we can warm up a little bit. Um, I have a little exercise that I'm sure that que creo que ya lo hemos hecho before, and that I know um, you don't have any issue with. Vamos a intentar trabajarlo super quick here. Mr. Sanchez, uh, thank you so much for joining. Great to see you around. And uh, all right, guys, so there we go. Let's take a look at the following exercise right here. Tenemos un poquito de pronunciation. And we have this short tongue twister, right? So again, if you um, have forgotten, if it had slipped your mind, remember that a tongue twister is como la combinación de sonidos, de repetición, y la idea es decirlo lo más rápido que podamos. So it goes like, Susie works in a shushan shop, where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. So um, guys, eh, do you find it easy? Do you find it difficult? Well, uh, creo que me comentaron last time that you were kind of familiar with them, so 
Let's give it a try. Vamos a intentar decirlos. We're going to try to say it like super quick here. Está bien cortito. And I'm sure that you're not going to have any problem with this. So, guys, eh, repitámoslo junto. Let's say it together. And then les voy a dar un par de segundos para que ustedes puedan practicarlo on your own. Eh, so, if you can activate your mic, that would be nice. Or si solamente lo quieren escuchar, that would be all right as well. Y luego intentamos reproducirlo, right? Okay, guys. So, it goes like this. Uh, lean conmigo, guys. Read with me. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Mm -hmm. Shoe shine shop. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's continue. Where she shines, she sits. Where she shines, she, she sits. Mm -hmm. Sits, like sit down. Exactly. Where she shines, she sits. And where she, el, el último pedacito, guys. And where she sh sits, she shines. And where she sits, she shines. And where she sits, she shines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. There we go. Perfect. So, el objetivo de estos ejercicios, the objective here is intentar decirlo lo más rápido que podamos, right? The fastest you can. So, one more time. Let me read it for you. Y luego intentamos decirlo eh, with your own timing. Lo practiqué en un segundo, like un par de minutos there. And then we try to say it. So, let me go again. It says, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. And that's it. So, está bastante cortito. It's kind of short. Um, guys, una vez más, solamente lean conmigo. Read with me. Vamos a leerlo todo. We're going to try to read the whole thing. Y luego le doy unos minutitos para que ustedes lo practiquen on your own. So, repeat with me. Vamos a hacer puntos. Susie works in a Shushan shop. Guys, you can activate your microphone. You're fine. A lady? Guys, I have only lady. <laughs> okay, you can open up your mic. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes, of course. No problem. So, vamos a hacer puntito, right? It says, Susie works in a Shushan shop. Susie works in a Shushan shop. Shushan? Shushan? Shushan shop. Shushan shop. Okay, very Susie good. Ahora intentamos decirlo juntito. Shushan shop. Solo el último pedacito, amigos. Shushan shop. Shushan shop. Shine, shine. 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 Mm -hmm. And where she sits, she shines. And where she sits, she shines. Okay, very nice, exactly. Thank you so much. So, guys, that's the way it goes. Guys, les voy a dar dos minutitos. I'll give you two minutes para que intenten decirlo lo más rápido que les sea posible, pero siempre cuando se oiga claro, right? Because that is the idea. Decirlo claro, pero decirlo rápido too. Or lo más rápido que a ustedes les permita la lengua, you know, eh, la unión de los sonidos and everything. So pretty much suena como Susie works in a Shushan shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. And that's it. Está bien cortito. Mm -hmm. Guys, eh, I'll give you two minutes. Les voy a dar dos minutitos. Y luego tenemos un par de victims here. Um, so, para que nos ayuden a leerlo. Georgina, good evening. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. Good evening. Stephanie, great to see you. Salvador, good evening. 
Good evening, guys. Estamos solamente revisando un poquito de pronunciación. Está este eh, tongue twister o este ejercicio de pronunciación here para que nos ayuden, right? So you can help us here. One more minute. Um, guys, ¿cómo les está yendo? How you doing there? Uh, do you almost have it? Ya que se tienen el tongue twister. Uh, are you having difficulties? <laughs> les está costando pronunciarlo. Mr. Mm. Sanchez, ¿cómo va? Mauricio, ¿cómo va? Ok. Ya listo. Are you ready? Kind of ready. ready? Merry Ok, ok, ok. Perfect, perfect. So, Maurice, let's start with you. Veamos cómo nos sale. Let's go ahead and okay. listen uh, to the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, start. Susie works in Chu yes. Chang shop where Chu mm -hmm. Chang she sit and where she sit Chu Chang. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, sounds really nice. Morris, just one little thingy. Eh, un poquito más suave en la S. La S. Es sí, el. Um, sh. 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 Mm, sh. Exactly, exactly. Sh. So sh. es como okay. bien relajada. Sh. Yeah, sh. 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 Okay. Sh. Mm, one more sh. time. Hagámoslo okay. una vez más. Let's do it one more time. Susie, Susie work in sh. 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 Mm -hmm. Where she. Sh. 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 And where she sit, she chant. Very nice. Much better. Really, really good. Exactly. That's it. That's the way it goes. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Normalmente la SH es como bien relajada and you did it nicely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, okay. who's next? You. You're welcome. ¿Quién está listo, guys? Who's ready? Mr. Sanchez, are you ready? Lady, you ready? Ezequiel, are you ready? Hi, Michelle. Are you ready, guys? Hi, Juanjo. Good evening. Julio Cesar, great to see you. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Teacher. Hi. Oh, hello, Miss. Hello, teacher. How are you ya doing? Hola. Ya estoy. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, Miss. Ya llegó a su casa. Are you home already? No, pero aquí voy. Oh, ok, no, para mí, 
Sí, no, eh, sí es que recuerdo haber visto el mensajito que iba en camino. So I was like, ok, so maybe she's driving. No, pero perfecto. Vamos, Abigail, let's do it. Ok. Susie works in a shoeshine shop. Where she shines, she sits in where she sits, she shines. Very nice. Ok, sounds really good. Solo podemos decir el último pedacito después de la coma one more time, please. En, uh -huh. ah, ok. En where she sits, she shines, she shines. There we go. Ok, yes, nice. Sounds good, sounds good. Yo sé que lo puede decir más rápido. <laughs> Can you try to say it faster? Ok. Ok. Susie I mean, works in, uh -huh. okay. Susie works in the shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Very nice. Ok, yes. Kudos for Abigail. That was really good. Guys, anybody else? Alguien puede intentar decirlo even más rápido, a little faster. Teacher. Yes, miss. Me. Perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sick, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, really nice. Really, really good. Eh, solamente el, el sonido de la SH un poquito más, eh, como más relajado, right? Where she said she okay. shines, lo demás, perfect, that was really good. Nice, can you say it a little faster? Voy a intentar decirlo incluso un poco más rápido. Can you try? Me, teacher, or... Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm, no, no, no. You. That would be nice. Oh, okay. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she mm -hmm. shine, she sick, and where she sick, she shine. Very nice. Okay. Sounds really nice. Good, good, good. Okay, guys. Who is ready? Your teacher. I suppose. Oh, hi. That. Hi, Ezekiel. Okay, nice. Hi. Go for it. So she works in a, in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Very nice. That was good. Can you say it a little faster? Faster than that? Uh, okay. Okay. Let's go for it. I didn't me lengua la traba, pues. No, exactly. Okay. Esa es la idea. <laughs> ah, está buscando okay. que me equivoque, Batiche. No, no, no. La idea es que la lengua se le destrabe. You know? Ah, ok. <laughs> the idea is exactly that. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher, lo voy a intentar. It goes. Suchi works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. No, very nice. Yes, kudos. You did it nicely. Okay. No, la lengua no se le trae, come on. <laughs> exactly, yes, Susie, right? But very nice. Okay, guys, whenever uh, you have a time, estos son de los ton twisters, que estas son los más fáciles. I strongly recommend you que busquemos uno, you know, se lo memorizan y que intenten decirlo like todos los días. It funciona a lot with pronunciation. But nice job, really, really good. All right, guys. So, vamos a revisar el día de ahora un poquito de uh, vocabulary, un poquito de first conditional, que es el tema que quedamos eh, pendientes la semana anterior. We were working on this last week, pero sobre todo eh, vamos a trabajar un poquito de vocabulary. So, we're going to just double check um, un poquito de reading comprehension. Vamos a revisar vocabulary fast. And para eso, guys, vamos a leer un poquito. We're going to read a little bit. Um, I don't know if you are into reading. Quizás eh, la lectura is not your thing. Or probably la lectura en inglés se les vuelva más fácil. So veamos eh, how we are doing with reading. Uh, vamos a leerlo like little by little. And tenemos what is a policy and what is a procedure. Vamos a dividir, guys, la clase en dos grupos. Eh, suena un poco sexista, but eh, para hacerlo más fácil and less complicated. Eh, what is a policy here? Vamos a dividir los so boys. Eh, vamos a leer what is a policy, la primera parte. That's going to be boys. And uh, girls, eh, vamos a leer la segunda parte de la página número 47, page number 47. 
That is what is a policy and what is a procedure. So, um, leámosla, but intentemos no ir traduciendo. Si encuentran vocabulario nuevo, cliquen, uh, si están en, el, en la computadora, click on it, subrayenlo, right? Si están en, eh, tomando nota en su teléfono o eh, somewhere else, eh, escriban la palabra, write the word, pero la idea es no buscar el significado, right? Solamente intentar entender que, a qué se refieren las palabras that we don't know. Um, so, boys, vamos a leer el primero que se llama What is a policy? And girls, leemos solamente el segundo que se llama What is a procedure? Um, están cortitos, so les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes para que lo puedan leer. Subrayen vocabulario que no conocen y luego lo trabajamos. All right? Cinco minutos, guys. You got five minutes. Uh, intenten, guys, no buscarlas en el diccionario, right? Try not to check your dictionary. Teacher, guía, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, guide. Guide. Mm -hmm. Depende, right? It depends, pero si la palabra, if the word that you mention is, is reca, eh, si sería un guide. Uh, la palabra está acá. Is the word here? Sí, and the second line. Mm. Ah, yes, that's a guide. <laughs> that's right. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, one, one more minute, guys.
Um, guys, do you finish reading yours or necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time or do you finish? Okay, guys, so we're going to get started here. Let's check super quick uh, part of the description that we have. Vamos a comenzar con policy. We're going to get started with policy. First, eh, revisamos un par de palabras. Can be kind of troublesome. So give me one second. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so it can be easier for everybody to read. Okay, so comenzamos con la parte de policy that is like the first reading we have right here. And guys, let me circle or underline some words that can be kind of um, hard here. So we have guide, we have the word, um, well, we have key, right? We have handle. We have arise, we have accomplished, uh, we have overcome. Let me see if we have another. Guys, um, is there any other? Uh, we have boundaries and we have features. Hay otra palabra que, le, que consideran difícil de pronunciar? Is there any other word? Okay, I, I would think that is a no, so let's get started y lo revisamos luego. Guys, repitan conmigo, please repeat with me. We have guide. Guide. Mm -hmm. Guide. Key. Guide. Thank key. you. Key. Guide. Okay. Key. key. Next one, handle. 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 Very good. Arise. 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 Mm -hmm. Accomplished. Accomplished. Mm -hmm. Overcome. 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 Yes. Boundaries. 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 Very nice. And features. 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 Okay, very nice. Features. There we go. So, uh, again, no revisen el diccionario. Intentemos, vamos a, a revisar si podemos eh, crear nuestra propia definición. Eh, Maurice, ayúdame a leer, please, hasta el, hasta el primer puntito. Help me read a I'm policy bad. hasta el primer punto, please. Up to the first point. Okay, no problem. Or period. Mm -hmm. Apolice is a predetermined course or action. With this established mm -hmm. to provide a guide toward mm -hmm. accepted business strategy and mm -hmm. objective. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, next one, Julio, please help us uh, from in other words, hasta que encuentre un period, hasta un punto. Okay, teacher. In the other words, mm -hmm. it is a direct link mm -hmm. between an organizer vision and their day-to-day -day oper operation. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Mr. Sanchez, please help us from operations. So, uh, iniciando, give me one second, starting policies hasta que encuentre un punto. 
policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues and their risks. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, Ezekiel, let's uh, read please from this accomplished hasta que cuatro punto until you find a period. Okay. This is yes. accomplished by providing providing the, the reader mm -hmm. with limits and choice of alter, alternatives that can be used to guide um, their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. Very nice. Okay. And let's go with the last part. So let me see who else is here. Hector, ando por aquí, Hector. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hi, Hector. Thank you for joining. Espero que ya haya cenado tú and you're at home. Yes. So, Hector, ayúdanos desde I like hasta terminarlo. I like. I like to think of police as a globe where a national boundary, mm -hmm. ocean, mountain, range, and other major are easy to identify. Okay, very nice. Sounds really good. Okay, guys, I think we're really nice with this. Now, revisamos un par de palabras. Let's just check on a couple of words. So, tenemos esto de acá. We have, eh, ¿cuál es la otra? Give me one second. Oh, this one right here. And I think that, oh, and this one right here that is kind of complicated sometimes. Okay, guys, so repeat that conmigo, please. Repeat with me. A policy. A policy. A policy. Mm -hmm. policy. Policy, A exactly. Policy. Next one. Identify. 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 I. Mm -hmm. Identify. Exactly. Identify. Y vamos con esto de acá. Vamos a pronunciarla en cuatro sílabas. Eh, well, tra, re, tra, re, tra, re, Y cambiamos, podemos decir strategy y está súper bien. Si no, cambiamos la segunda T por una R. Tra, re, gi. Tra, re, gi. Tra, y si fuera plural, guys, what if it is plural? So, como le de aquí arriba. Exactly. Strategies. Strategies. Ah, uh -huh. very good. So, accepted business strategies. So, policy, identify, and strategies. Very nice. Okay. Uh -huh. Policy, right? There we go. Remember that policy, decíamos que no es un policía, but policy son reglas. Uh, Política. Políticas, exactly, principios de una empresa, that's the word we use for all of those. Ok, ahora guys, veamos vocabulario nuevo. Del que saca, from the first reading, boys, ¿qué lograron identificar? What did you get? ¿Hay vocabulario nuevo? Is there any new vocabulary here? Yes. And what words are new? I say. I think that would be arise, right? Eso de acá, yeah. arise. Yeah. Okay, okay. Arise. That is right. That is arise, guys. Sure? Yes. Um, accomplished. What is accomplished? Ah, okay. Uh, accomplished. I'm gonna circle, I'm gonna underline this one. Okay, accomplished. Boys, tenemos otra. Do we have another? Boundaries. Boundaries. Okay, very nice. Boundaries. There we go. Okay, comenzamos con arise. ¿Alguien tiene una idea que es arise? Do you have any idea? Levantarse. Levantarse, ok. Pero no literalmente, no necesariamente que, ah, me voy a, estoy acostada, right? And I arise. No necessarily that way. Arise tiene un significado un poquito más, eh, well, 
you know, if you are uh, Bible followers or mencionan parte de, oh, and they arose. So arise es en el sentido de surgir, right? Mm -hmm, exactly, de levantarse, pero más como surgir. Look at this, it says, eh, provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. So arise se refiere a issues, right? Se refiere a los problemas como ellos vayan surgiendo. So that's the idea of arise. Levantarse, pero en el sentido de surgir, right? But I think we got it. Accomplish, guys. ¿Alguna vez vieron Misión Imposible? Um, or escucharon esa expresión, Mission Accomplished. Y completa. Exactly. So in Spanish, we normally say misión cumplida, misión completa. En las caricaturas es bien común to say uh, or to see something like mission accomplished. So accomplished means completada, right? Misión cumplida. This is accomplished. Ah, look. This is accomplished by providing the reading. So a qué creen que se refiere este pedacito? This is accomplished. ¿De qué estamos hablando? What are we talking about? De las políticas. De las políticas, exactly. So he said, this is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives. So that is the one. Okay, guys, vamos a avanzar here. We're going to move on. Eh, boundaries. Hay una canción super famous que se llama... Eh, Oh my God, I forgot the name. Okay, but look at this. It says, I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, ocean, mountains are easily identified. What is boundary? For example, um, in El Salvador, Limpa or Rio, no, 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 sorry. Rio was Curan is like a boundary between El Salvador and Honduras, I think. What is the meaning of boundary? Or for example, I always have some boundaries with my male friends. What is the meaning of boundaries? Como limite, algo. Limites, exactly. So national boundaries, look. Oceans, eh, mountains, mm -hmm. and other major features are easily identified. Exactly. Estamos hablando de los límites. No necesariamente mm -hmm. frontera, pero sí límites, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That is the one. Okay, guys, ¿de qué se trata el primero? What is policy uh, related to? ¿De qué se trata la primera lectura, guys? Yeah. Identificar desde las, las políticas uh -huh. para proveer dice, el manejo de la solución de problemas, algo así. Ok, ok, sí, tiene mucho que ver. It's related. Anything else, guys, alguien más? Uh, any company is necessary uh, policies because. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a guide mm -hmm. by a uh, mm. You are doing nicely. The policy. Okay. okay, so it is important to have a policy in the company, right? Exactly. So it says here. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, what's mean toward? Toward, it says, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. So, toward se refiere como relacionado a, or cuando estamos hablando de objetivos, es como hacia, right? O enfocado en. In the if you pay a exactly. It says, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies. So, es como todo está re, redireccionado o direccionado a conseguir esto, a conseguir 
estrategias eh, aceptables, right? De negocios. Mm -hmm. That is the word. Eh, no sé si la ha visto con este, tu words. De hecho, se parece también y es lo mismo, como hacia adelante, right? Avanzar o en este caso, eh, so relacionado a, que sería el significado. Mm -hmm. Any more doubts, preguntas, guys, questions? Ya vamos a trabajar este vocabulario, así que no worries. No questions. Ok. So vamos con las chicas. Girls, your turn to shine. Look at this. Vamos a cambiarlo. Ya no hablamos de policies. Ahora hablamos de procedure. All right. First, veamos. Uh -huh. Procedure. Veamos si hay algunas palabras que pueden ser difíciles de pronunciar. So tenemos this one. I have to say we have this one. Eh, otra vez tenemos boundaries, establishing. Tenemos algunas palabras repetidas que no creo que causen mayor problema. Eh, we have wandering off. We have acceptable. And we have just that. Guys, ven otra palabra que es difícil de pronunciar. Do you see another? Ok. Ok, y las girls están bien calladitas ahora. Ok, guys, so, sure. repiten conmigo. Dígame, dígame, Miss. Miss or the Miss oh. understanding. Ok, perfect. There we go. Ok, guys, repiten conmigo. Boys and girls, ambos, guys. Repeat with me. Procedure. Procedures. Procedures. Proce Proce y la do es como you. Procedure. 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 Intentemos pronunciarlo como un ju. Procedure. 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 Ok, ok. Yeah, so procedure. That is the one. Ok, very nice. Next one, easily. 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 Easy. Excellent. Okay. Next one. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Yeah, it's como understanding, right? Que se entiende se lo agregamos le mis. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Very misunderstanding. Nice. There we go. Guys, ¿qué era misunderstanding? Eso ya lo habíamos visto antes. What is the meaning of that word? Malentendido. Malentendido. Que nosotros entendemos mal o algo que no es. O uh, captamos información de forma errada, right? Next one, wandering off. Wandering off. Wandering off. Wandering off. Wandering off. Mm -hmm. wandering off. There we go. And the last one, acceptable. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Acceptable. Okay. So, very nice. There we go. So, look at it. You can think of a procedure as a rope map. Well, ya nos van a leer esto. You're going to read this for us. <laughs> okay, um, guys, ¿qué es un, acabamos de ver que es una policy, right? Ustedes mencionaron que, okay, una policy es como una especie de regla, something like that, that is necessary. Entonces, si una policy es como una regla, what is a procedure? Guys, ¿qué sería un procedure? The procedure is uh, um, Action, un plan, plan of action or action plan. Okay, it's an action plan. All right. Guys, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más podemos hacer? Yes, yes say it. Yes, mm -hmm. Is for yes. implementing to pola, pola. The policy. Ah, yes, policy. Okay, so the procedure is to implement the policy. Okay, yeah. okay. Guys, algo más? Anything else? I already made common in the mineral stem. I'm sorry, Hector, can you say that again? Help eliminate common in mineral stem. Ah, okay, so help eliminate common misunderstandings. Okay. Well, de hecho, es una de las características, right? Y dice por acá abajo. 
a well-written procedure, cuando un procedimiento está bien escrito, yes, it helps eliminate common misunderstanding. Eh, ok, girls, ayúdennos a leer, help us read. Um, let me see. No sé si está por ahí. Um, Abigail, Miss Mendoza, are you with us? Me imagino que va en camino. I think she's on her way. Eh, Georgina, ¿está por ahí? Are you there? Georgina, where are you? Ok, thank you, Miss Bonilla. Perfect. Ayúdenos a leer, please, Miss. Help us read. Desde el inicio de Ultimate hasta donde encuentre un punto, please. Thank you so much. The ultimate goal of mm -hmm. every, every product is to provide the reader with mm -hmm. a clear and easily understood mm -hmm. plane of action re required to carry out or complement a policy. Okay, very nice. There we go. So, eh, ¿cuáles son las características, guys? What are some of the characteristics de acuerdo a eso? Mm, clear and easy understood. Very nice. Exactly. So it is clear and easy to be understood. Very good. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Dinora, please. Ayúdame. Help me continue here. Okay, teacher. A well written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstanding mm -hmm. by identifying job mm -hmm. responsibility and establishing boundaries for the okay. employees. Okay, okay, nice. Sounds really good. So, uh, ella mencionó algo que es bien interesante, that is by identifying responsibilities and establishing boundaries. Otra vez tenemos la palabra boundaries. Um, let me see, Michelle está por acá. Are you around? Michelle, Michelle, maybe not. Uh, Andrea, good evening. Great to see you, Andrea. Okay, who else is here then? Lady, is that por aquí? Yes. <laughs> Perfect, Miss. Ayúdenos a leer, please. Help us read. Vamos a leer desde acá, desde Good Procedures, please. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. Okay, okay thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so, tenemos parte de las características, parte de los beneficios y el último pedacito. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off. Guys, ¿qué se creen que es wandering? What do you think? ¿Qué hacemos cuando nos perdemos, guys? What do you do when you get lost? Looking for. Okay, so look for it, all right. Yes. That's a, yeah, makes sense. Guys, what do you do? Hacen lo mismo que Hector, se ponen a gritar. So, what do you do when you are getting lost? ¿Alguna vez se han perdido? Have you ever gotten lost? Guys, nunca se han perdido, never. Yes. Uh, ok, you ask. Ok, look at it. Well, en este caso es un poquito diferente. It says... In order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path, identify by the company's uh, manager, management team. So, ¿qué es lo que hace, hace? They are talking about getting lost or employees que se pierden en el trabajo que no saben qué hacer. Y pues empiezan a wandering off. What is wandering off? 
pues que matan el tiempo, right? Que andan de acá por acá sin saber qué hacer. That is the idea. So, look at it. Tenemos, pues, bastante vocabulario here, guys. We have more words. I'm sure about that. Pero mientras tanto, let's complete the exercise. Vamos a completar los ejercicios de que están un poquito más abajo. And there we have answered. So, vamos a responder. We're going to answer it. these questions con la información que tenemos acá arriba. Read the article about policy and procedure. Y vamos a escribir policy or procedure en la descripción que tenemos at the bottom en la página 47. Guys, les doy dos minutitos. I'll give you two minutes para que contestemos esto y luego lo revisamos. Dos minutos, guys. Es súper rápido. One more minute, solamente vamos a escoger policy or procedure. Guys, are you ready? Are you almost, almost ready? Do you need more time? Talk to me. <laughs> Anybody ready, guys? Oh. 
Okay, okay. I'll give you one more minute. So it is only policy or procedure. Procedure, el que vamos a escribir. That's it. No vamos a escribir nada más. So policy or procedure. Remember, está en la página 47. This is page number 47 para que la podamos trabajar. One more minute. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at what you have as an answer. Number one, it is a connection between a company's vision. What is that? A policy? policy? Okay, yes, that's a policy. Very nice. Number two, it permits managers to control events in advance. What is that? Procedure. A procedure. Sure. Exactly, exactly. That's a procedure. In advance. ¿Qué es in advance, guys? Por adelantado, right? Cuando quiero decir, voy a terminar una actividad como por adelantado, voy a hacerlo avanzado. Eh, avanzado, exactly. Um, hay una expresión en El Salvador que usamos, eh, de antemano. So we use in advance, right? Como voy a un paso adelante, in advance. That's the expression. Next one, it can be compared to a trip map. Uh, eso está súper fácil. What is number three? Sí. Police. Yes. Mm, ok, Procedo. lo vemos acá abajo, guys. Lo vemos acá abajo. Really easy. Strip map. Y acá lo dice Procedo. literalmente. Uh -huh. As a road map. There you go. So, ¿cuál sería? Oh, that's a procedure. Procedure. Number four. It can be compared to a glove where you find many things. ¿Cuál de esos se compara con un globo? Which of them is compared say. to a glove? Policy. A policy. Exactly, that's a policy. Okay, guys, ¿qué vamos a hacer right now? 
vamos a usar el vocabulario nuevo que tenemos. ¿Cuál es parte del vocabulario nuevo? Bueno, well, tenemos esta expresión en el ejercicio 2, que es in advance, por adelantado, de antemano, right? Tenemos eh, para algunos la palabra misunderstanding. Eh, for some of you, probably la palabra, eh, what was the word? And recall it, the word, handle, arise. So, buscamos las palabras nuevas. Vamos a crear una conversación. We're going to make a dialogue. Vamos a hacer un diálogo cortito, right? Super short, con un compañero, para que podamos practicarlo. So, we can practice it, right? And we can make, uh, we can present this dialogue here. So, de la, eh, de la lectura, pónganse de acuerdo qué palabras son nuevas. What well, words are kind of new. Vamos a crear una conversación quickly utilizándolas y luego la presentamos. Guys, si alguien está, eh, si tiene problemas, you know, eh, con la conexión o todavía ven camino, le das no eh, para no interrumpir el flujo y que los compañeros estén, se nos vayan a quedar solitos en las sesiones. So, I'm going to give you, les voy a dar cinco minutos, guys. I'll give you five minutes para que vayamos, go there. Creen una conversación cortita, so you can make a short conversation. Y luego la presentamos. Remember, busquemos solo las palabras nuevas. Si son dos palabras nuevas, perfect. Eh, ok, Abby, thank you so much. Si son muchas palabras nuevas, pues la conversación va a ser un poco más larga, right? Because we need more vocabulary. Siempre intentemos agregar vocabulario nuevo, guys. Tenemos cinco minutos. You have five minutes. Pueden escribirlo if you prefer it. Pero la idea es que no lo hagamos. So, guys, vámonos a los grupos. Go to your groups. Five minutes.
Um, alrighty, guys. So part of the vocabulary that we got, y que nos hacía, you know, uh, que creo que es nuevo, que estaba escuchando por ahí, that was like misunderstanding. Escuché que algunos mencionaban like establish. Otro grupo mencionaba like handle. So la idea es utilizar todas estas palabras, boundaries, utilizarlas correctamente, right? Pero sobre todo, eh, ponerla dentro de nuestro vocabulario a usar todos los días. So guys, veamos qué es lo que pudieron crear. Let's see what you were able to get. Eh, ¿Tenemos algún voluntario? Do we have any volunteer? Vamos a comenzar nosotros. Super. Yes, Julio. Go ahead. Please be my guest. Lo que pasa es que ya me quiero dormir. No, hombre, Julio, todavía no. Faltan 24 minutos. Te <risa> casi, Julio, casi, casi. Casi terminamos el módulo, guys. Solo today, tomorrow, and we are done. Así que vamos, Julio, you can do it. No se me duerme. <risa> Vaya, este, vamos a hacerlo con Jorge ahí. Eh, hello, Jorge. How are you? Hi, Julio. Fine. Hey, Jorge, a long time no see you. Tell me about your police in your company. Yeah, in the company we have many policies, but the most important is the respect for the clients and co-workers. Oh, not great. How do you handle issues of their company? In the company promoted promote the good relationships with the co-workers. Our policies is we are a family. Oh, nice. It's similar to my company. It's good policies. It's great. Nice to see you. I like it. I like it, boy. It's very nice job. El vocabulario muy bien utilizado. So the vocabulary was really nice and really well used. Gramaticalmente, very good job too. Eh, solamente esta palabrita, right? Recordemos que es policy. So, eh, como policía. So, policy. policy. Mm -hmm. policy. That's the only word, but lo demás, yes. Very nice. Me gustó Thank mucho, mucho cómo you. utilizaron el vocabulario, guys. That was good. All right. Guys, next group. ¿Dónde están los demás? Where are the rest? I'm going to give you some claps here. Your teacher. Okay, perfect. Hector, are you ready? Yes. Okay, nice. Who was in your group? So, yep. Ah, okay. So, Dino, are here. you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. Good morning, boss. I stay here, a new employee. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the company. Thank you, boss. I have a question about a play. Please. Okay. You have to handle your responsibility in the company. For example, call the customer and give the price about the product. You can give the credit for the customer and the customer is $5,000 in five they, the customer have to pay. In other case, it is your responsibility if the customer does not pay. Okay, boss, I get it. Thank you. Okay, oh, yeah. I think that, okay. <laughs> yes, that was so right, actually. Um, me gustó que incluyeron, you know, the, uh, I think it was the real policy information. Really nice. Uh, but la pregunta y la respuesta es super coherente. It's very coherent. Um, that was very clear. Solamente la misma palabrita que le diría, policy, right? Yeah, <laughs> so recordemos que es como policía, so policy. Mm -hmm. Además, okay. guys, puro. That was really nice. Okay, me falta un grupo más. I'm missing one more group. Guys, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, Sir Hector. Eh, Ezequiel, what about your group? Are you ready, Maurice? Ezequiel. 
Lady, creo que Lady se les unió también hace unos minutitos. Eh, guys, ¿están listos? Are you ready? Medio ready? Not ready? Ya se me fueron a dormir. <ríe> pues creería que se han levantado un momento. Ok, so mientras eh, el grupo, guys, while they come back. Oh, hi, Maurice. Hi. Hello. No, eh, no, no recuerdo el nombre con la compañera que toqué. Ahorita le digo, so, en su grupo estaba eh, Lady, so we got mm -hmm. Lady, uh, lady. There, okay. y Abigail. Oh, pero era Abby, dice. Ok, so Abby, perfect. perfect Abigail. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That was Abigail. Ok. Hello, Abigail. Hello, hello. hello. Abby. <laughs> There she is. How are you? Mm, excellent. Okay. I told, I told you, uh, but uh, I need your help. I haven't made uh, any policy. Mm -hmm. Could you help mm. me? Mm, yes, I do. Give me mm. the fear, please. The first policy is the employee arrives on time every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could... Second. Second? I don't remember. <laughs> Every employee follow the police policy in the search. The policy are procedure to overcome problem. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, very nice. I like it. Utilizamos otro vocabulario too. I heard you were using other words like overcoming, right? Oh, okay. Sounds really nice. Guys, I like it. I like it. Very nice. No, creería que lo escribimos, right? I think that you wrote those words. No, el... El challenge, el reto verdadero, right, es que intentemos utilizar las expresiones um, like in a conversation, que nos recordemos cómo utilizarlas. Um, guys, in the meantime, I have just a little something here. Deme un segundo. Let me just wait. What are you? Okay. Take a look at the following. Vamos a revisar eh, uno de los eh, temas que hemos estado trabajando, like Little by little, que es el repaso de vocabulario y de verbo, sobre todo past, past participle, etc. So, um, look at the following pictures. Veamos, we got here six pictures. And guys, no sabemos qué pasó. We have no idea what is going on. But vamos a intentar adivinar. We're going to try to guess what, is ha what happened in these scenarios, right? So, ¿qué pasó, guys? What happened? Now, eh, vamos a ir foto por foto. We're going to go like picture by picture. First, eh, vamos con la primera. Let's go with the first. The woman is in front of the mirror and she is looking up at her eyes. She is checking on her eyes. Now, the question is, ¿qué ha pasado? Like, what happened, right? ¿Qué, ¿Qué le sucedió a ella? What happened to her? Guys, tenemos 30 minutos. We got 30 seconds. Intenten darme uh, una razón a algo que está sucediendo, something that happened, y por qué ella está así, right? Si necesitan buscar palabras en el diccionario, go to your dictionary, go to your translator, and you give me... Um, Vamos a adivinar, no sabemos, así que we're going to guess, all right? 30 segundos, guys. 30 seconds para la primera, for the first. First picture. 30 seconds.
Okies. Okay, guys. So let's go with the first. ¿Qué sucedió en la primera? What happened in the first, guys? Dennos ideas. Give us some ideas. She was crying and sad. Okay, she was crying. Why? I don't know. Inventémoslo. Uh -huh, so make it up. Uh, yes. She had a, have a discussion with your boyfriend. And ah, ah, ok, ok. Me la copiaste. So she, yeah. <laughs> ok, so let's go to the discussion. It's a super good idea. And let's use the argument. So, argument, we use it in English for that, for a discussion. In the word discussion, guys, to give you some like, extra info here. Discussion is a. Eh, how can I explain it? Discussion es lo que tenemos en sentido académico. Por ejemplo, ok, vamos a discutir un tema. So we're going to discuss a topic, right? Es como hablar, como tener una conversación. Utilizamos la palabra discuss. Y para pelea usamos la palabra argument. Uh, o utilizamos la palabra fight, right? Entonces la idea de uh, Hector está súper buena. So she had... An argument or she had a fight with her boyfriend. Very good. Guys, ¿qué más? Invéntenselo. Make it up. ¿Qué le sucedió? What happened to the first girl? ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Anybody else? Mm -hmm. ¿Alguien más tiene una idea? Invéntenselo. We are good. We are sure. super open. Yes? Yes, in order. I I think um, she didn't sleep uh, well the last night. Okay. Very nice. Uh -huh. Okay. And today, uh, she has budget. Okay. Okay. So that sounds... That sounds like a very nice idea as well. So she didn't Teacher. sleep well last night. Yes, yes, Miss. Uh, good evening. Good morning, Miss. Hi. <laughs> Great Teacher. to hear you. How are you, Miss? How are you doing? Ahorita llegando a mi casa, teacher, por eso me había oh. conectado solamente así, de oyente. Sí, no se preocupe, yo me imagino que ahorita está súper atareado, pero le agradezco super, a lot for being here. Wow, you, that's teacher. so nice. That's really, uh, really I have cool. idea, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Why did you get uh, fired mm -hmm. from work? Ah, okay, so she got fired from work? Okay. Okay, okay. That okay, y por eso es que está like kind of sad. She's crying. Okay, so she's yep. crying. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds really, really good. Like a very nice uh, possibility too. Perfect. Guys, ¿qué más? What else? What else do we have in here? Nice. Tiene muy buenas ideas, guys. Give us more. She crying. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I did your father catch mm -hmm. your attention. She is crying because her father call your call... attention. Oh, call here, como la de ella, verdad? Call yeah. her attention. Okay, okay, sounds good. So she's crying because her father called her attention. Okay, makes sense as well. Okay, very nice. Guys, vamos con la siguiente picture. Let's go with the second picture. Vamos con la del hombre. Let's go with the man right there. The man below is on the phone. She's calling somebody. But look at him. Está pero super. He is so mad. Guys, what happened? ¿Qué le pasó al hombre? What happened to the man? He's hungry because he resigned not, not ties. Uh, 
The boss doesn't pay the aguinaldo. <laughs> ok, oh, eso lo explica perfectly. Ok, so podemos decir the bonus, the Christmas bonus. Ok, so he's angry because he didn't receive a bonus. Ok, very nice. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Teacher. Yes, miss. Eh, because your, your daughter have uh, boyfriends. Ah, ok. So he's angry because... Solo voy a hacerle un pequeño cambio porque me dice your. En your es como si hablara de la mía, de la hija mía. Entonces, como es de él, vamos a cambiarlo a his. Right? So he's okay, angry because his daughter has a boyfriend. Oh, ya me los imagino, guys. Ajá, la marisa. Así se va a poner. I think eso es lo que pensó, right? Okay, very nice. ¿Qué más, guys? Díganos more ideas. Give us more, give us more. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? He's angry because he was hit by the car. Ah, okay. So he's angry because... Um, his car, his su car. auto fue golpeado. His car yeah. was hit. Yeah. Very good. Good, good, good. Good ideas, guys. ¿Qué más? What else? Mm, the children mm -hmm. rep mm, reprobó. El ah. gran <laughs> uh, guys, how do you say reprobar? ¿Alguna idea? Empieza con F. No? Okay. Usamos la palabra fail. Fail es fallar. Or en este caso, cuando hablamos de la escuela, so we are going to use a failed. So, lady says because they don't get the instructions right. Um, so, lady, cuando dice they, ¿se refiere a quién? ¿Como a los empleados o con quién está hablando? What do you mean? Let me take a look. Como, ah, ok, ok. Como si fuera el jefe y está dando instrucciones. Yes, because people, does, uh, they don't understand his instructions. Got it, got it. Very nice. Ok. Ya se imaginaron, right? <laughs> ok. Very good, guys. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, muy buenos escenarios. I like them. Ok. Uh, vamos con la siguiente, guys. Yes, dígame. Tell me. Okay, the man uh, received the cobra excessive sería como extra excessive yes or extra we can say extra charge extra charge or overcharge mm -hmm. yes thank you teacher so he received an extra charge or an overcharge overcharge Okay, makes sense, definitely. Like when you have problems with Tigo, Banco, eh, Banco Agrícola, guys. No sé si usan agrícola. Oh, that's so bad. I don't like that bank, so I feel that way. Okay, guys, vamos con esta chica. Let's go with this girl. What happened to this girl? What do you think? She have a pain in the her back because... Mm -hmm. Last night doesn't mm -hmm. ring well. Ah, she didn't sleep well. Very good. So she has a pain in the back. Okay, guys, ¿qué le sucedió? What happened to her? Nice, Hector. Good idea. She is stressful. Why? For mm, the for Ah, uh, ok, because of the traffic. Podemos usar la palabra stressed out, right? She is stressed out. Mm -hmm. Ok, or nice, because of traffic, yes. I agree with you, Dinora, 100%. <laughs> guys, y estos días el tráfico está feo. It's really bad. Ok, ¿qué más, guys? ¿Qué le sucedió a ella? What happened to her? Her back hurt because she exercised a lot. Very good. She exercised a lot. Nice. Good, good, good indeed. Uh -huh. 
Mm, sleep well. Okay, she didn't sleep well. She is stressed because of traffic. Um, okay, okay, makes sense. Okay, guys, vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next. Now, es más que obvio que there is a car crash, right? El auto chocó. La pregunta es, why? Why did they, um, like, crash their car? So, let's talk about this picture. Guys, what happened to, over here, what happened? The driver was drunk. Okay, so he crashed because the driver was drunk? Creo que alguien dijo, Abigail, I think she mentioned because he was sleeping, right, Abigail? The brake. Okay, so the driver was sleeping, the brake. ¿Qué sucedió con el brake? What happened to the brake? Mm, como que se le fueron los frenos. Ah, okay, so the brake didn't work. El brake no That's le sirvió. Right. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, miss. Why did driver feel asleep? <laughs> yes, the driver fell asleep. So el driver se durmió. Very good. ¿Qué más? Sure. Otra posibilidad, yes. yes? The driver washed the cell phone. The driver was in the cell phone. Very nice. Was checking the cell phone or sending emojis. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más, guys? Give us more. Creo que alguien más tenía una idea por ahí. The driver can see a, a cat mm -hmm. and he es, esquivó the cat. Ah, ok. So he tried to avoid, intentó evitar. He tried to avoid the cat. Teacher. Ok, that's a possibility. Yes, miss. Yes, Damaris. He can't mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. No puede manejar. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's a possibility too. So, well, pero no le daría el carro. <laughs> pero yo no daría el carro, guys. <laughs> okay, so uh, the car, the person uh, crashed the car because he couldn't drive. Yes, definitely. Eso sí puede suceder. Ok, vamos con la última, guys. Let's go with the last right here. Tenemos doctors. No sé si tiene familiares que trabajan en el área de medicina. Look at this, guys. What happened? ¿Qué sucedió? What happened here? The right the tire. They are tired. ¿Pero qué sucedió? Why? ¿Por qué están cansados? Why are they tired? He worked at 24 hours. Ah, ok. Hay una palabra que usamos en el caso de médicos o incluso de nosotros, le llamamos shift. So a los turnos, esos son shift. shift. They work, so ellos trabajaron a 24 hour shift. Un turno de 24 horas. Mm -hmm. okay. ok, they work a 24 hour shift. ¿Qué otra razón, guys? Why are they tired? Why do they look tired? The doctor is, are sick. Ah, because they are sick. Very nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of patients. Because there are a lot of patients. Yes. ¿Qué más? Any other reason? Anything else? Warning for warning of. Warning. Perder el tiempo, como dijo Bendito. Ah, wandering. Wandering uh, off. Aunque wandering off es como un poquito, es que es como más de vagar, you know, eh, que los doctores están perdiendo el tiempo. I don't know, maybe, maybe, probably. Pero parecen okay. cansados, right? They just look tired. Yes, just miss. They have a little passion. Ah, también. So, tienen poquitos pacientes y se van a descansar. That can be as well. So, they have a few patients and they go to rest. Very nice. Okay, guys. Amazing job. Really, really good job. 
Now, antes de irnos, porque ya es hora, guys, unfortunately, solo les voy a tomar asistencia. Let me go over your attendance really quick here. Me regalan confirmación verbal que están por acá, please, para que nos quede en grabación. And I got, well, Abigail, si está, lo acabo de escuchar. Thank you so much. Tenemos un segundo. Ok, Andrea Amalia. Blanca, no, Blanca no la he visto. Georgina está por acá. Hector is here. Mr. Sánchez, Mr. Narváez. Es aquí. Juanjo está por acá. Are you with us? Presente, teacher. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Juanjo. Yes, se quiere. Ya lo tomé por acá. Eh, Julio César. Ya se me fue a dormir, Julio. No, ya, teacher. Julio César está. Ya, yo sé que el cansancio. Pero ya casi, Julio. Kenia. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Lady. Lady acabó de escuchar. Thank you, Morris. Presente, teacher. Thank you so much. No, no lo he visto. I haven't seen him. Um, Sandra Bonilla está por acá. We heard her. Michelle. Acabo de escuchar a Michelle, I think. Dinora. Thank you. I'm here, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Amaris. Here, teacher. Amazing. Guys, agradecerles por la asistencia. Ya pues, se pueden ir a descansar tranquilamente. Duerman bien, guys. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Eh, recordemos que es la finalización y tenemos que completar la encuesta. Please don't miss, guys. Have an amazing night. Que descansen, you, people. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye bye see you see bye, you see you many tomorrow see you tomorrow bye. teacher bye guys i hope you sleep well see you see you